It's time for the Fast Break Basketball Show with your hosts, Wes Cusswood and Ben Davis. Welcome to the Fast Break Basketball Show. Great to be here again. We've missed a couple of weeks, but we are back here at the Geelong Arena where the Hoop City Geelong United Supercats took on the Melbourne Tigers on Friday night. The women had a big 28 point win over the Tigers. And after the game, I caught up with head coach Matthew Payton and player Ella Tofeono. Well, I'm here with head coach of the Hoop City Geelong United Supercats women's team, Matthew Payton. Matthew, congratulations. A big 28-point win over the Tigers here at the arena tonight. Yes, it, uh, it didn't exactly start out the, the way we'd uh, planned, but uh, you know they, we knew that they would battle for the entire game, and uh, you know we got out of it what we needed to tonight. Well, some of the interesting stats from tonight's game are some of those uh, points from turnovers. Uh, you guys had... I think 13 points to Melbourne's too, and there were a lot of turnovers in that game, but you seem to capitalise them a lot better than the Tigers did. And to be honest, that's, that would be better if we'd made a few extra layups. I think uh, it almost became Benny Hill style uh, uh, errors in the end there. But um, yeah, it was, it was something that we'd focused on. We, we wanted to make sure we maintained our standard of play throughout the game. And there were patches where we dropped into um, you know, a bit of an arm wrestle, but I think when we executed what we wanted to and got the shots that we actually were looking for, um, you know, the players um, were able to, you know, um, it paid dividends. And again, second chance points uh, for Geelong, um, 10 points to Melbourne's three, and a lot of that had to do with Ella Tofayono, a massive 20 boards from her tonight. Yeah, you know, again, it's one of those things, we, we've got to continue to do a better job of playing until we hear a whistle, not playing to expect a whistle, and uh, I think that got us a little bit distracted tonight. Uh, the game was quite physical, uh, and there were, there were a lot of uh, slapping and hacking and whatnot, which you know, I'm sure went both ways through the course of the game, but... Um, you know, we just need to maintain our focus through those moments. Ella did a great job battling throughout. Probably uh, played herself out of a bit of a slump from the first half into the second. Um, but um, you know, I think just our just our uh, senior leadership as well um, helped get us through that. Um, you know, Sarah um, and uh, and Jess Scannell and Eve Braslis really kind of steadied the ship. And, and not to mention someone like Ag Agnieszka, who uh, is always good for a handful of steals. Well, again, you guys are playing with quite a short roster. Obviously, Chantal Horvat and Monica Okoye uh, in Sydney at the moment for the FIBA Asia Cup. But you guys are still getting the job done. Last week, a one-on-one -on -one split for the weekend, a win tonight against Melbourne Tigers and then facing Frankston tomorrow. You've done a really great job with such a short roster so far. Yeah, you know, we, we uh, acknowledge our, our place in the pathway, you know, and we're, we're ecstatic that, um, that Monica and Chantal are getting these opportunities to play for their countries. And... We had a bit of a watch party on uh, on Wednesday night and celebrated that, uh, which was great. But we're definitely looking forward to getting them back and having uh, having that little bit of extra depth. But yeah, we we had to make sure that one of our focuses pre-game tonight was focus on this 40 minutes, um, you know. And, and but it obviously uh, that this victory tonight um, tees up what's going to be a very pivotal game against uh, a fresh Frankston uh, tomorrow. So, uh, but we'll go there confident that we've played ourselves in a little bit of form in the second half, and um, you know. We'll be jostling with them for uh, for final four positions come end of season. Well, Matt, best of luck tomorrow night, and thanks for your time. Appreciate it. Thanks, Beth. Well, I'm here with Ella Tofayono after what was a huge win for the Hoop City Geelong United Supercats over the Melbourne, Melbourne Tigers. Ella, a fantastic game from you. Double-double, 15 points, 20 rebounds. Um, how was it feeling out there? I know it was a very physical game for you and, and for all of the players as well, but you guys managed to get the job done and just increase your lead quarter on quarter. Yeah, absolutely. Well, we're um, we're definitely not settling with that. Uh, after the game, we all kind of like addressed each other and held each other accountable that we can play a lot better. Um, but, you know, we want our girls that are playing the Asia Cup to come back to a really solid team. So that's what we're striving towards. So, yeah. Well, a win tonight, but the job isn't done, of course. You guys have another game tomorrow night. Yeah. Again, you guys, we've talked about it a lot, but you guys are playing with such a short roster and so many double headers towards this back end of the season. How are you preparing and how are you resting and what's your uh, recovery like for tonight leading into tomorrow's game? Lots and lots of sleep, good set of carbs, um, and actually trying to get to bed on time. Um, and then lots of foam rolling, stretching, but uh, yeah, definitely just some adequate rest. But um, thank God the game's tomorrow at 6 o'clock, so we have plenty of time instead of a 12 o'clock game, so it's a bright side of it, so yeah. Well, congratulations on a fantastic win tonight and best of luck tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Thank you. Well, watching the Hoop City Geelong United Supercats women get the big win over the Melbourne Tigers was former Supercats player Agnes Emanopu. 
She is a Stanford graduate and has recently transferred to TCU over in America. And I caught up with her after the game to chat about her college experience. Well, I'm here tonight with former Geelong Supercats player Agnes Emanopu. Agnes, welcome back to the Geelong Arena. It's great to see familiar faces here and great to see you coming and supporting the team. Yes, it's been great to be back. I've been practicing with the girls. Always good to be back in Geelong, yeah. So tell me a little bit about your college journey so far. So last time we saw you were at Stanford, but you've now transferred to another college over in America. Tell me about that. Yeah, so I decided to transfer after the end of my junior season. So I was able to graduate with my... BS in human biology as a junior and so now I have two years to play at TCU yeah and so how's that going for you what's the preparation been like have you had an opportunity to meet the coaches or any of the players from that college yet yeah so I um, went on a visit an official visit with my parents and my younger brother uh, earlier this uh, I think it was earlier in May so I was able to meet the coaches it's a whole new coaching staff whole new team so it's a really exciting opportunity yeah. so when do you head back over to America to get started for your college season coming up in September yeah. so it's a really short stint at home so I'll get back to uh, Dallas uh, July 9th yeah so not too long well Agnes it's always great to see you here thanks for coming and supporting the team and best of luck at TCU thank you so much Beth good to see you too thank you Well, it was a big win for the women, but heartbreak for the men, going down in a one-point loss to the Melbourne Tigers, 72-71. Opportunities to win the game at the end, but the shots did not drop, and after the game, I caught up with new recruit Matthew McCarthy and Marlo Hicks. Well, I'm here with Matt McCarthy from the Hoop City Geelong United Supercats after a heartbreaking one-point loss to the Melbourne Tigers here at the Geelong Arena. Matt, that was such a close game. You know, you guys were trailing at halftime. You came out in the third quarter and really, really pushed the Tigers. And it could have gone either way. That last couple of shots in the last quarter just not dropping the, your guys' way. But a brilliant effort from the team. Yeah, it was a tough one. Disappointing. I thought our energy was kind of lacking today. As, as you said, started that third quarter, we kind of bounced back. But... That was a tough one. Shouldn't, shouldn't lose those games, but we, I think we're still alive in the playoff chance, so we'll keep going. Same confidence. Well, as you say, still alive in the playoffs. You guys split your weekend last weekend, and yeah. so many doubleheaders coming up to finish off the season. You have another game tomorrow night against the Frankston Blues. What are you guys going to do to kind of recuperate? It's always tough having those one-point losses, you know, wondering what could have been. But you do have to back it up again tomorrow. So what's the message going to be from the team tonight to try and uh, bounce back and, and get that win tomorrow against the Blues? Yeah, as I said, a lot of doubleheaders. So you kind of have to put this one on behind you. We talk about it a little bit. There's things we've got to work on. But at the end of the day, you've got to go into the next one like tonight didn't even exist. Same confidence we've had going into this season. And if we don't have that, then we don't have a chance tomorrow. Well, again, Matt, you've been a great addition to the team. You had 12 points tonight, a fantastic weekend from you last weekend as well. Still getting into a little bit of foul trouble there, but how are you finding fitting into the team so far? Yeah, the fouls are still iffy, but I think I'm fitting in well now. Uh, still coming there, like this time's a bit lost on the court, but we'll get there. Well, Matt, thanks so much for your time and best of luck against Frankston tomorrow night. Thank you, thank you. I'm here with Marlo Hicks from the Hoop City Geelong United Supercats after the one point loss to the Melbourne Tigers here at the Geelong Arena. Marlo, it was a really close game and really tough from you guys. Um, you guys trailed at halftime but came out really strongly in the third quarter. Uh, how do you guys think the team played? Sorry, say that again. How do you think the team played tonight? Out of 10, to be honest, maybe a four. Well, tell us why. Tell us why you think um, that was. You know, the, the Tigers are a tough team, but what makes you say that, you know, it, it's hard to stop someone like Jack Purchase when he's hitting threes and, and going it, driving to the basket as well? It is. Um, no credit to Melbourne. They did a really good job of moving the ball on offense and being really patient. Um, I don't know. I guess we'll talk about it in the locker room, but um, I think it'll be the same message as our last loss to Mount Gambier is just got to find some continuity on the, on the offensive and defensively need to be more aggressive but yeah we haven't got much time to, um, before the season ends and we need it we can't afford to drop those ones but yeah on to the next one well it is a tough road ahead for you guys you know four double headers back to back in the last four rounds of the season yeah. a game tonight another game tomorrow and then two more games next weekend and another two games a week after that how are you guys managing in terms of injuries bodies rest all that sort of stuff I think I think we're actually doing a doing a pretty good job. Um, Grant does a good job of picking when what trainings we go hard during the week and 
yeah, while training is we take it easy and get some shots up. But yeah, that's that's mainly that's mainly what um, helps us really is uh, player management during the week. And everyone seems to be doing seems to be in um, pretty good pretty good condition right now. So. Well, hopefully you guys can turn it around tomorrow night against the Franks and Blues. Marlo, thanks for your time and best of luck tomorrow night. No worries. Thank you. Well, strong words there from Marlo Higgs. A 4 out of 10 in his review of the performance of the Hoop City Geelong United Supercats men on Friday night. But it wasn't the only game played over the weekend. Both teams headed up the highway to take on the Franks and Blues on Saturday night. Let's take a look at how they went. Well, after a win and a loss at home on Friday night, both our NBL 1 Geelong United Supercats teams got wins against the Frankston Blues on Saturday night. The women were up first and they defeated Frankston 78-69, Sarah Ellsworthy finishing with 22.7 rebounds and 4 assists, Ella Tofayono another double-double with 20 points and 18 rebounds. It was a very close game again in the men's game and this time the Supercats were able to get the one point win over Frankston in overtime, defeating them 98-97 to thanks to some free throws made by Demarcus Gatlin at the end of the game. Demarcus finished with 31 points, 10 rebounds, 6 assists and 4 steals. Gabe Hadley had 24 points and 9 rebounds. Matt McCarthy another double-double with 12 points and 10 rebounds. And with the win over Frankston, our women have secured their place in the NBL 1 finals and are now playing for a top four finish as they look ahead for the final two weeks of the season. And of course, our Big V Youth League teams were in action this weekend as well. Let's take a look at those results and how our teams fared. Unfortunately, it was losses for both of our youth league teams on Saturday night as they played home games against the Camberwell Dragons. The women lost 57-77 to against the Dragons. Cassidy Green, a double-double with 15 points and 12 rebounds. Annie Poon finishing with 11 points. Kayla Blasgo grabbing 10 rebounds to go with 4 points. The men also had a loss to Camberwell, 61-84 the final score. Bailey Bruce finished with 14 points, 4 rebounds and 5 steals. Marach Marach, a double-double with 12 points, 11 rebounds, 3 assists and 3 steals. Seth Garcia had 12 points, 3 rebounds and 5 assists. Well, we love seeing all of the fans and all of the kids enjoying the basketball here at the Geelong Arena. Our games have been selling out, so if you haven't already, make sure you get your tickets to this weekend's Saturday night game. All of these people that were here at the game tonight did that and they had a fantastic night out at the Geelong Arena. And Hoop City Geelong United Supercats player Ella Tofayono caught up with some of the kids in the crowd to check in on their school holidays and who's their favourite Supercats player. Hey guys, I'm here with Henry, Ryder and Samuel. So guys, how are school holidays going? It's good. Yeah, it's good? Yeah. It's good? Good. You guys enjoy the game tonight? Yeah. yeah. What was your favourite part? Uh, I don't know, probably when they pulled up and got a three. Easy three. Yeah. What was your favourite part? I love it. I love it? Do you guys have a favourite player? Not really, no. Not really? Ah, oh, that's a good answer. <laughs> Do you have a favourite player? Number nine. I like it. On the men's team? Do you remember his last name? Max. Okay, guys, what have you got planned tomorrow for school holidays? Um, I don't think anything. Just hanging out? I don't know. Hanging out? Uh, going to my friend's house and chill. <laughs> hey, guys, I'm here with the girls. So, how are school holidays going? Good. Great. Okay guys, I'm here with the boys. How's school holidays going? Pretty good. Yeah, pretty good. Alright. Good. Okay, what was your favourite part about the Geelong Supercats game tonight? It's entertaining, like, like watching you girls win and like um, sitting with my mates. Just having fun. Yeah. What about you? Being here with all my mates, watching a good game. Yeah. Love that. You guys got a favourite player in the Supercats team? Um, no, I like them all. George. Yeah, Demarcus. Yeah. Well, thanks for tuning in, guys. You guys have a good rest of the holidays, all right? Well, that's it for this week's episode of the Fast Break Basketball Show. And don't forget, we are back here at the Geelong Arena this Saturday, 8th of July, as we take on the Ballarat Miners for NAIDOC Week in partnership with Wotherong Aboriginal Cooperative. Hope to see you there.